Good morning. Looking outside, quiet as can be here in the valley. We've got dry conditions once again and very light wind. Just not a lot to mention except for that uh, it should be good driving into work and getting the kids to school today. As far as the weather is concerned, of course, lots of construction projects out there still. Here's a look at our highs yesterday. We hit those 80s in some areas, some spots not quite, but still it was a nice day. We got to 84 degrees in Fargo, 82 in Grand Forks, and some upper 70s. And we're going to add more to that today. In fact, so much so that we might even be reaching record levels. I just want to point out, this is our almanac. It tells us uh, how much rain we receive this year, what our normal temperatures are, average, right now 73 we're going to be well above that and then looking at the record temperatures category check out our record high 90 degrees that's what we're forecasting for today that was set back in 1952 for this state so uh, we're threatening records here today with our warm weather 63 degrees in Fargo 57 in Grand Forks we've got some 40s or at least 140 off to the east in Bemidji at 48 degrees there it's 67 in Devil's Lake where it's a lot warmer uh, to start off your morning by about 20 degrees that's where we've got the wind that's helping to keep those temperatures up and the wind coming out of the south bringing in that warmer air helping to reinforce those temperatures as well overnight last night over to the east where we're calm we really watched those temperatures start to drop a look at our radar and satellite map quiet we've got dry conditions here a few clouds and tri-state view shows more of the same and as we expand the view of course we were keeping our eyes on what's left of Irma lots of rain with that strong winds still not quite what they were yesterday morning not nearly as bad but still some threats for some thunderstorms in that area today in heavy rain. Looking at our forecast here in the valley, a couple of quiet days ahead here. Let's take a look at what we've got going on. The one thing that we're going to be focused on is the heat today and the wind that's going to be bringing it in as well out of the south. We're going to see some winds that are gusting into uh, the 20s for us this morning and into the afternoon could get a little higher. We'll be warming around 80 degrees around lunchtime and then getting into the afternoon hours. We're starting to see some 90s on the map around 3 o'clock. More of us getting in on that by the time we get to 5. And we're looking at 90 degrees potentially in Fargo, which would be a record, 91 uh, in Grand Forks and some 90s in eastern North Dakota. Over to the east, maybe not hitting 90, but still very warm today. Low to upper 80s for you into Minnesota today. Tonight, warm temperatures continue into the evening and nighttime hours as well. This warm weather going to stick around again. I should say hot weather going to stick around again for the day tomorrow. Here's a look at that hour by hour planner for Wednesday. Starting off tomorrow morning, a few clouds. Temperatures in the upper 50s to low 60s, so very comfortable start. And as we move ahead into the noon hour, there might be a couple of clouds out there. Can't rule out as that wind eases up overnight some areas of patchy fog and moving out to the afternoon more of the same we're gonna maybe one or two of us see 90 degrees again for the day tomorrow out ahead of our next system that'll be bringing us an isolated threat for a shower a thunder shower late tomorrow night and into the early part of the day on Thursday. This is 11 o'clock Wednesday. You can see an isolated thunder shower starting to pop there and over into the James River Valley as well. Timing on this still uh, not set in stone. Of course, this is a good 36 hours away or more from now, but still that's our next chance for some rain. Not a great threat, but still a chance for us here in the valley. So the next couple of days, very summer like. We've got some upper 80s to 90 degrees here in the forecast for Fargo Moorhead. Head. We might tie some records or break some records in the valley with that slight chance for some rain. And then ahead for the week, the rest of the week, I should say, we're looking at some changes really starting to kick in for Thursday and Friday. Not bad for temperatures. We're still above average, actually, Thursday and Friday. Uh, just starting to scale things back with that chance for some rain and thunder. But ahead for the weekend, this is a huge difference from last weekend where we got into the 80s. We're looking at some upper 60s. So sliding back below average with some rain chances as well, especially on Saturday and maybe lingering into the early part of the day on Sunday. So some temperature swings going on here in your forecast for the week ahead, uh, but certainly feeling very warm uh, to start off the extended planner. We had that nice day yesterday. Today it's going to be hot for a lot of people. Yeah, it will be. Thank you, Lisa. September is a chance to take action against hunger. Coming up here on the Valley today, we'll let you know how you can take part right here in the Valley.